Hi everyone and welcome to this series of video tutorials on Organtech 2. The aim of this series is to provide an exhaustive walkthrough of Organtech 2, the last physically modeled pipe organ of Modart. We will see how to use its organ console, many features and functionalities, and how to customize your organ sound from the general characteristics to the individual voicing of every pipe. Hopefully, this series will also provide some basic information on the wonderful instrument that is the organ for those of you who want to discover it. A last few words before starting. As you can hear, I am a native English speaker, so all this series will have French and subtitles available. Let's go. Okay, so first I want to stress out that you don't necessarily have to possess a real MIDI organ console nor a pedal board or very fancy controllers to use organ tech. You can already have a lot of fun and exploit organ tech too at almost its full potential with a very minimalistic MIDI setup. That's why for this series of video I will just use one keyboard controller and an occasional launchpad. So that is the main view of organ tech 2. We'll start with a short overview of the main GUI buttons. At the top, you have here a small MIDI player for playing and recording your performances or MIDI files. Here is a drop down menu of the recent MIDI files and the recently played notes on the keyboard. For instance, if I. I have here my last notes. You have here a small metronome with different tempo and time signature options. Then you see here the name of the current preset. Clicking on this button will open a drop down menu where you can choose among the different presets. The star here is to mark a preset as a favorite. Side arrows let you navigate between the presets and keyboard shortcuts are N for next and P for previous. Auto completion and filter search by character is implemented for easiness and for instance for this video I'll, I will use the preset Romantic Abbey. This button shows the name of the current MIDI mapping. A click on this icon will open the MIDI mapping, so action mapping and keyboard mapping windows. That will be the subject of the next video, so I will go quite shortly here. Note here that there is a pin button to attach the current MIDI mappings in case you want to keep it while browsing through the presets. Let's go back to Romantic Abbey. Then this toolbar is for opening another preset window and different presets management, copy, paste and freeze filter, which is, which is an advanced functionality that we'll see later on. Then the lowest toolbar shows the current diapason and temperament settings, as well as the general volume slider, a limiter that can be switched on or off because the organ has a huge dynamic range, so it can be quite useful. A reverb mix slider with a switch on or off. And I will keep that button for the end of the video. Let's now have a look at the main console view here. You'll have three manual keyboards and called divisions. From the top to the bottom, you have I just change my MIDI mapping so I can play on the fourth different divisions. So from the top you have the Reci, then you'll have the Great or Grand Org, then you have the Positive, and then the Pedal Board. For each of these divisions or keyboards, you have access to different organ stops. You will find them on the side of each keyboard, some stop draw knobs to switch stop on or off. 
I will show you very quickly the stop edit panel so we can see the full name here of the stops. A specific video on this panel will follow. I just want to say two things for those who are quite unfamiliar with the organ. First, there are two types of organ stops. The flu pipes here in white and the reed pipes that are in light in red and are distinguished in the main console view with a red felt on the draw knob, on the draw knob here. Two, you will notice that each pipe has a number in its name. These numbers are actually related to the stop pitch and actually refers to its height in feet. Indeed, the pitch of an acoustic pipe is directly related to its height. The greater the height, the lower the pitch. The point of reference for all stops specifications, so for all stop numbers, uh, is the lowest note on the manual or the pedal, the low C. And 8 feet is roughly the age of a flue pipe that produces this C of approximately 64 Hz, so 2 octave and a 6 below the A44 Hz. So, by some language abuse, the organ stops we will sound at the low C 64 Hz. When that key is pressed, will be called the 8 feet pipes. If you divide that length by 2, your pipe will sound at the octave. For instance, I take this 4 feet pipe it plays one octave higher than this eight feet pipe. Logically, the two feet pipe will speak another octave higher, and so on and so on. Similarly, if you double the length of the pipe, uh, you will go an octave lower. So this 16 feet, for instance, and on the pedal, you have sometimes some 32 feet, whose lowest notes are almost subsonic, near 16 hertz for the low C. And except for the octave or unison sounding stops, so 32, 16, 8, 4, and 2, there are also stops that sound at other pitches. They are usually following the whole series of harmonics, so you will have some fifth sounding ranks, for instance, this one. And also major, major thirds. Here's the tierce. And even some sevenths sounding ranks. Okay, let's go back to the main view. This wooden panel gathers all the features and functionalities of Organtech. I'll go very quickly here as each of them will have its own tutorial video. First, the couplers here that send notes from a keyboard to another keyboard. For instance, I play here on the great organ. This coupler, this coupler will send all notes play on the great to the positive. Same for the swell. Then you have three customizable expression pedals to modulate the dynamic and volume of your organ. Here are the four monophonic couplers of Organtech 2. They are quite a novelty. For instance, this one will send the highest note play on the grade to the positive. Just below the monophonic couplers are the four tremblants or tremulants. For instance, I activate this one. This is the tremblant. Just uh, after there is a crescendo pedal, 
which triggers a pre-recorded sequence of stops, couplers and tremulant switches. Note that the switches that are triggered with the crescendo are here ghosted on the main GUI. Then you have the general cancel button to switch off all the devices and stops and the 2T button which activates all the stop switches. On the left, 10 combinations buttons that store and trigger different organ console states Then you are, you'll have these buttons that open two alternate views that Organtech 2 offers. They are called jam views, keyboard. So this is the jam view. The keyboard shortcuts are G for the, for the single jam view, which is attached by default to the main window, but it can be, as you see, detachable. And K for the double jam window, which is detached by default. So basically, let's go back to the jam view. They gather all the organ console information in a very condensed and minimalistic way, without the graphical representations of the keyboards, pedals, and so on and so on. They were designed primarily for touchscreen users, but are also quite useful for regular computer use. The stop switches are sorted here by division, so RECI, Grand Org, Positive, Pedal. You can switch on and off several stops with a single mouse drag, which, we, which is quite convenient. On the right, you have the crescendo pedal here. Note again that stops that are activated by the crescendo are also ghosted. Then you'll have the three different expression pedals. Then you will have the combinations buttons here. The different tremulants, couplers, monophonic couplers, then the cancel and the 2T. Finally, a last quick word on the settings of Organtech 2. This button open the eight different panel of Organtech 2 and each of them is used to customize each feature of Organtech 2 and each of them will have its tutorial video. Okay, so that's it guys. Next week, on the next video, uh, we will see how to set up your MIDI controller, how to set up your MIDI mappings, and basically how to set up all your MIDI environments to make the most of Organtech 2. Until then, well, don't hesitate to check our website modart.com to listen to some Organtech 2 demos. Cheers!